In today's video, I'm going to do a first look at the Nature Hike Opulus 3 tent. I reached out to Nature Hike to see if they'd send me this tent because I've just purchased the Fjall Raven Abisco, Fjall Raven Abisco Light 3. Really, really good tent, solid four season tent, but obviously at the higher end, you know, it's quite expensive. So I asked them if they'd send me this tent because it's a similar sort of design, tunnel tent, apart from it has a, an extra vestibule at the front. And I was on the lookout for a bit more room for when the, me, and, me and the missus go camping or if I go on my own and I want that little bit more space. As we all know, in winter, you know, you get wet, you sat in the tent for long hours. So I want to see, you know, can I fit a chair in there? How much space, how much headroom, things like that. All the specs, I'll just stick on the side somewhere. But basically, it weighs around 2.7 kilo or maybe a little bit more with a footprint. But the great thing is, it comes with a footprint. You get that free. Now, this is the tent. Now, it normally comes in this big bag crammed. But as you can see, I've already squished it down quite small. So this will go in any backpack nice and easy. I've obviously taken the poles out. They're on the floor behind me, so I'd pack those at the side of my bag. It packs small, it's surprisingly light for such a big tent. So I'm just going to quickly set the tent up. I'm not going to go through the full setup, it's a typical uh, tunnel tent, but I'll do a little bit of the setup now and then I'll show you around it. What I will say is with this tent, Nature Hike do supply all the uh, tent pegs with it, but as always, they are rubbish. I just advise you to go out and purchase some decent pegs. I use stakes, MSR Carbon Core stakes, or sometimes I use these, which are left over from some um, Fjall Raven tents, but get yourself some decent pegs, and I just use those for all my tents. So the ones that are supplied with it are far too short. Get yourself some decent long pegs, because it is a big tent, and you really want to buckle it down. With this tent, you get three poles, two colour-coded blue, for I, I think they're for either end, and a silver one. So basically, it's very straightforward. You just put in the blue pole in the sleeve with the blue holes. What I will say is on initial impressions, sliding the pole through the holes is brilliant. Really, really smooth. Some other tents are a nightmare to get in. We've got the three poles in now. I've already put two pegs in at the back here just to secure it. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna pop these in the eyelets and then we're gonna pull it out from the back. It just goes in there like so. And then the same on the other side. Same in that side and then just let it fall flat. Same with the next one. go the same with this last one here now okay so once we've done that all we need to do is grab the tent at this end pull it tight and then peg it down so these are the tent pegs i recommend these are the msr carbon core really good pegs nice and light strong they're doing a nine inch and a six inch but i prefer the nine inch ones and then we just should just be able to pull this tent right up stretch it out and pull it out on this side as well already the tent in pretty good shape just pull it out from this side i know i've not put it under the footprint properly but i've not attached the footprint but basically the footprint does click to the inner but i've only just put this out just roughly for now so what i'm going to do i'm just going to go around i'm just going to tighten up the side pegs and then i'll bring you back We'll just pull this back one out here as well, nice and tight. And again, with these, you can pull all the sides nice and tight. So you've got the loops here for added guy line. You obviously will need those. I'm not gonna do that now, but the guy line will go on here and the tent will pull this direction out nice and wide. You've got some slots in the middle again, guy line to attach and they will pull out to here and you've got your back ones as well and these back ones will come diagonally back so it just keeps the tent really tight 
but as you can see straight away it is pretty good i wanted to show you that the guy line is included you get this with it which again seems all right you can probably upgrade these i'll i'll be using two two millimeter um lawson reflective glow wire because it doesn't tangle and it's stronger but yeah it seems like good guy line and i wanted to show you that these are the pegs that you get with it yeah honestly the crap the tiny do not use these with this tent you're just going to lose it and they're too thin so get yourself some decent pegs you've got your flaps on the back there's normally like a holder in there to keep those out so that's not great but what i have done and i will show you when i actually take the tent out camping is i bought some little clips that you put on a tarp so basically they will just clip on there and i'll put a piece of guy line on and i will guy that out i will guy that out so it keeps those those vents nice and open but what i'm going to do now i'm going to open up the tent and let's have a little look inside it so the good news is we've got a zip on the top so you will be able to open that from both directions got a storm flap which is good wow you want to see the space in here and then we rolled these up got two pretty good ties on here they're not elasticated but i do like them when they're like this so you can just basically cinch them down which is great same on this side as you can see nice and tight no issues at all and look at the side of this the only downside with this tent is you don't get a footprint to cover the vestibule what i'm going to do out of the polycro which you can see on the floor i'm going to make a footprint to fit in there with little hoops on that will clip onto here so again when i take this out camping and do a proper test of it i will show you the modifications that i made there's probably going to be a few little changes well my god it is absolutely massive in here it is gigantic as you can see you've got your vents there so these vents don't stay open so you, you again when i take it out i will show you i'm going to put these little clips on an extra piece of guy line to keep this open the only negative i can see with this tent so far is ventilation and lack of these are your only way of venting obviously you can open these doors and i'll show you on this side but if you wanted to you could kind of keep that down a little bit maybe we can do a little little thing where it clips on there and clips on here just to keep that down but obviously double doored okay so one really big door all the way there's just a little pocket on the side and that pocket just tucks away everything nice and clean let's get in <laughs> this i mean my god i mean starfished in here i literally fill this tent if i sit up and look at my head got a good amount of room there i'm six foot we're sat on my arse now obviously it would be sat on a mat in the tent so it's going to lift you a little bit higher but as you can see i've got a little bit of room above my head in the middle maybe on a mat a bit higher but there's good gap what else do we see in here on first impressions pockets got a nice big pocket here on this side we've got a nice big pocket here which is good to see a little hook for a lantern what is missing is a little hook on that side which we could have done with because then we could have a washing line in the middle I will try and make myself one of these and I will get it sewn on and get it attached there so we can have a washing line. When I get out on a camp, I'll show you what that's like. But what do you think? I think this is amazing. The amount of room in here is incredible. If you think about in winter conditions, when you're in here for a long time and you want to cook, as I say, if I've got a footprint in here, I can roll that footprint back. I've got space to cook where I'm not going to burn the footprint. If, if it's raining, you've got time. You've got plenty of, plenty of space to sit down. What I am going to try, which will be interesting to see, is if you can sit in here on my chair. Now, obviously, there's a big gap to the ceiling, but I wonder, I'm going to get my Helinox chair and let's see how that is in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to set this up really quick and we'll see if it's possible to sit in here in a tent. As much as I like them, they are quite low. OK, I don't know how I'm going to film this in here where there's enough room, but that's my chair. Let's just see if it works. So now easily get two of you in here i'm obviously sat in this middle section but my god look at the room in here i'm sat in here you see the camera there but look at all the room you can see how much room i'm taking up here so i'm just sat in the vestibule plenty of room behind me massive amount of space in here i'm over the moon with this tent i think it's going to be brilliant what are the good points it packs quite small it's not too heavy for what you're getting for the space it's double doored it's going to be secure in the wind I believe i've watched some reviews on it but there's plenty of guy out points this is classed as a four season tent it's not four season you can use it in four i guess i'm going to use it in four but really it's a three season tent three to four because this the inner is made out of mesh on a true four season tent 
it will be solid all the way around, maybe just a couple of air vents. You're going to get wind and things coming through the tent, but again, that's good for ventilation. Does that, is that a problem? No, because most of my tents are mesh anyway, which I use. Um, let's have a show you around on the outside. On the sides here, again, you've got these extra guy out points here to pull it down. But as you can see, you've got a gap. So if it was snowing, you are going to get wind blowing underneath. A true four season tent would go ass to grass. <laughs> you know, it'd go, it'd go right to the floor, but it should be solid enough. You've got loads of extra guy out points, but I just wouldn't use the pegs that it comes with. They're just not very good. Nature hike for tents like this, you need longer pegs. So come on, step it up. So there we go. What do you think? Would you buy one? I've noticed, obviously this video could come out at any time. Check for deals. You can pick them up on AliExpress and get a really good deal. But actually this weekend, it's Black Friday. And I've noticed there's some really good deals on Amazon. I'll put some links below. They're not affiliated. They're about £190, £185, something like that, which is a steal. Typically, they're about 260 these tents, which is still really good for what you're getting. There it is. It's a first look at the Nature Hike Opulus 3. If you've got any questions, please leave them below. But for me... I'm really, really happy with it. People know me. I have good quality tents. I do have some cheaper tents. I have my Cloud Peak 2, which I will never get rid of. I absolutely love that tent. Again, it's a little bit heavier, but it's great for, for you know, for opening up double doors and all that sort of stuff. And that's why I really wanted this tent. I think it's fantastic. It's going to be great to use. And I'm looking forward to getting out in it this weekend. Stay tuned on the channel. I'm going to be doing a first look at the Abisco Light 3, three-person tent. It's a tunnel tent, but you just don't have the door. And I've also got a new tent, a Southern Cross 2 as well, which I'm going to be comparing against the Northern Light 2. I've got both of those. And one of them I'm going to be getting rid of. Both great tents, but I'm going to be getting rid of one of them. So stay tuned and I'll take you through that on the channel. But for now, thank you for watching the video. Got any questions, leave them below. And if you're not subscribed, please do consider it. Lots of you follow me on Facebook. You like my videos. You tell me you've seen this, but you're not subscribed. And it really, really does help me trying to grow the channel. So please... Drop a like if you enjoyed it, drop a subscribe and catch you in the next one. Peace.